Hi, Megan Tuffley here, Thermo Gourmand, a Thermomix consultant, online and in person, based in beautiful Albany, Western Australia. And it's a glorious day today. Today I'm going to make my 40 second cupcakes. Yeah, they only take 40 seconds and everything can just come out of the fridge. You don't have to have more, uh, softened butter or anything like that, just all out of the fridge. And it's only one, two, three, four, five ingredients, six with vanilla. So it's very easy, super quick. And I've lined my beautiful rose gold cupcake tray. The, this makes quite large cupcakes because it's quite a big um, tray or big size cupcake. So it probably only makes uh, maybe 10, not 12, but doesn't really matter because they're delicious. And I made some this morning and I think the grumpy one's already eaten three. All right, let's go. Okay, first of all, we just go across to our scales. Okay, and we're going to weigh in some sugar and we're going to make caster sugar. It's almost icing sugar. So this is the hard work done already with your machine. And it is 150 grams of sugar. You can reduce the sugar, I'm using raw sugar by the way, but it will make less cupcakes. Just be aware of that, less ingredients, less cupcakes. And I have found that they're not too sweet with the 150, okay. And we simply pop the lid on and this is going to make a racket. Actually, you probably won't hear it because um, it won't, it, Oh no, that's when I zoom. When I do zooms, it automatically uh, reduces the sound. So it's only going for 10 seconds anyway. Okay, so home, we're doing 10 seconds. Speed 10. <laughs> away the sugar dust. Here we go. Okay, now we're going to weigh in 125 grams of cubed butter. Cubes are quite small. Give your machine a chance. It's really powerful, but if you give it a chance, it's even better. All right, and that's straight out of the fridge. Another 10 seconds. And this time, speed six. Okay, it's got a bit of an air bubble there, or it's whizzed itself around the edges. So we'll just do a quick scrape down. Oh, it's done really well in that time. I'll just show you. Look at that. Brilliant, hey? Just. Brilliant. I probably don't, doesn't even need the extra two seconds, but I will do it anyway. Yeah, doesn't need it. Okay, and now we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. 125 grams of buttermilk. Now, I didn't have very much uh, left, buttermilk left. I only had a little bit, so I just popped some milk in and a little couple of drops of vinegar and that gives it that acidic um, balance that you need to create the oh, I guess it reacts with the um, bicarb in the in the self-raising flour and so you get extra rising using buttermilk or just soured ordinary milk okay so we have 125 grams of buttermilk Again, across to the scales. Okay, 120, there we go. If you're worried about pouring a liquid into a bowl that's already got ingredients in it, simply pop the lid on the machine, take the MC out, pop a bowl on, 
tear it and weigh into the bowl and then tip that in. All right, and then you're not going to overdo it because it's sometimes pretty hard to take, some, take things out. Oh, that'll do. Good. Easy peasy. And, and then tear again. Actually, I'll pop the eggs in first. Oops, this way. Nope, they're really tough eggs. There we go, one. That's probably being a bit gentle. Two. I'll just wipe my hands. Tear. And we'll pop it in our flour. Self-raising flour. And that is 215 grams. And again, if you're worried about, um, or you can actually take some out when it's flour, if you're worried about putting too much in, just pop a bowl on. The 217 isn't going to be a problem. I mean, it weighs to one gram increments. The TM5 was five gram increments, and we still managed to make cakes in that. Okay, I've got everything on. Oh, no, I haven't. I've missed my beautiful Halala van vanilla. I'm going to pop some of that in. It's delicious. And I've got everything. Yes, yes, yes. Now I'm going to do 10 seconds, another 10 seconds. We're up to three lots of 10 seconds. And speed five this time. I'm just gonna go slowly so it doesn't woof the flour up. what we have. Did you notice as soon as I took the bowl off the machine it stopped making its little noises? That's a new feature in the latest update. And of course you can change the sounds that it makes as well and the duration of the sound and if you're not sure about all these things how about hosting a demo? I'd love to do either a virtual demo on Zoom or Facebook Live and uh, or come to your house if you're in the area and do a demo, you learn so much. And there's some fantastic host rewards at the moment too. Reach out if you wanna know more. And if you want to know more about the TM6, reach out as well. Okay. So, scraping down. And scraping down the bottom as well, because that butter and sugar was quite sticky. So make sure you get all that gorgeousness into your cake batter. It's already looking pretty good. There we go. And our last 10 seconds. And of course our oven is ready to go. Now, I don't tend to specify ovens temperatures because all ovens are so different. I have had my oven oh, probably a couple of years now. I'm still learning. And I've learned, so I don't get too much of a peak, that real pointy peak on my cupcakes, I put them on the lower shelf and I put the other shelf on top. Because I found if I'm baking two lots of cupcakes, the bottom ones are always smoother and less peaked and have a lovely dome without that peak. So I keep that tray, the oven tray, above and put these below. But your oven might be totally different. When I'm doing 180, um, no fan, you know, if it's fan forced, it's probably 160. Okay. Let me show you this gorgeous, gorgeous batter. I mean, look at that. 
Look at that. It's beautiful. It's smooth. It's all the sugars dissolved because we already gave it a chance by making it into very, very fine caster sugar. And now all we have to do, this is probably a bit big, but is put the cake batter into our cupcakes and bake them. How easy is that? And I'll show you my pre-baked ones that I did this morning. risen absolutely fantastic okay I'll pop this recipe on my blog when I get a chance um, I have a demo tonight so it probably won't happen this afternoon and do go ahead and try my 40 second cakes and put a response or a mess or send me a message put it on my Facebook page if you've made them I'd love to see your 40 second cupcakes too okay Thanks for watching. Bye.